Let's look at the first example. A meal can be made up as follows. Choice one, meat, fish or chicken. Choice two, mash, chips, baked potato, rice or vegetables. Now the question, how many different meals can be made using these choices? Now, if I can take you back to the definition or rule that we just spoke about. We said, in this case we call it choice one, there we called it operation, or I also refer to it as a task. So my first task is to select one of these, these meat products, meat, fish or chicken. Choice number two, or my task two is, is to select one of these. Now, as you can see, choice one, there are three possibilities. So there are three ways to perform task one or choice one. Choice two, one, two, three, four, five, there are five ways that choice two can be done. Or for that matter, task number two, there are five ways to perform that task. Now the question is, how many ways can these two tasks be, be performed? How many ways or how many ways can, we, uh, can these operations be done? And that is the question. How many different meals can be made using these three choices? Let's now look at how to answer this question. Now, this question you most probably have the answer already. But let's just discuss it thoroughly. We have two choices. Choice one and choice number two. You remember choice number one, there were three possibilities for choice number one. For choice number two, there was five possibilities for it. Now we need to make a choice for that one to select meat or chicken or fish, and then to select from the second choice. And now we can find different meal combinations. And this is what we call combinations or arrangements. How many arrangements or combinations can we make? Now the rule says that if you have one task or operation and you can do it m number of ways, and another task or operation that you can do in n number of ways, then the total number of arrangements, the fundamental counting principle, you multiply them, m times n. Now that's what we're going to do here as well. We're going to say, for task number one, there are three number of ways to perform task number one. For task number two, five number of ways we can perform that task. According to the fundamental counting principle now, how many different meal combinations? That means we're going to multiply, and that will give us 15 different meal combinations. And I'm sure you will agree this is very easy. 